We've long thought there are two things in Washington that are unbalanced, the budget and the liberals. Who said that? Ronald Reagan. Who's that? One of the best presidents of the 20th century. Which president was he again? The 40th. Oh. Yeah, Discovery Channel recently confirmed that Ronald Reagan is the number one American ever. Whoa, he must have really been someone special. Indeed he was. Codenamed Operation Urgent Fury, the Granada in invasion was led by the U.S. in a country called Granada. Really? So it was a big step in Reagan's success in ending the Cold War? Yes, yes it was. Also following this was the Goldwater-Nichols Act. What was that? It was the first major reconstruction of the U.S. military since the National Security Act of 1947. Oh, so Reagan had a huge part in ending the Cold War? Yes, he did. He basically ended it by himself. We welcome change and openness, for we believe that freedom and security go together, that the advance of human liberty the advance of human liberty can only strengthen the cause of world peace. There is one sign the Soviets can make that would be unmistakable, that would advance dramatically the cause of freedom and peace. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, Come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Hey, wow, look at all these movies he was in. 
Prisoner of War, Tropic Zone, The Winning Team, Storm Warning, The Big Truth, Naughty But Nice, Dark Victory, and Accidents Will Happen. And that's not even all of them. What a baller. Yeah, he was. Did you also know he was elected to the board of directors of the Screen Actors Guild? No, I did not. That's really cool. Yeah, and what's even cooler is that he was elected as president from 1947 to 1952 and again from 1959 to 1960. Wow, once again, he was a baller.